Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello crafters and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today we're going to make a card using the Love From Lizzie 2023 card kit. It's the Watercolour Wonder and this is going to be card number 10. I will have links to my previous nine cards down below in the description as well as links to the products I'm using from the Love From Lizzie um, subscription to her website. Okay, so the first thing we need is a piece of cardstock and this measures eight and a half by five and a half. And on this, I have two score lines. One is at two and one eighth. The other is at six and three eighths, just down there. So that'll give us these two side panels. It'll be somewhat like a gatefold card. In the center here, I have stamped my sentiment it's here and ready and this is a sentiment from my stash what we're going to do is fold and burnish these two panels here and that should give us a gatefold card and it should give us a four and a quarter by five and a half gatefold card now with this card we're going to do something a little unusual i have a piece of white cardstock here and this piece measures 11 by four and a quarter. And I have two score lines on this. One is at two and three quarters. The other is at eight and a quarter. We're going to fold these down. And we'll burnish those as well. So I'll just make sure it's nice and straight and burnish the other one. And you can see there they close as well so it's like another gatefold card but this one isn't going to sit in this orientation it's going to sit in this orientation now i want to do some cutting on these two panels so if you pop this back into your scoreboard and if you just mark a little notch at two and one eighth rotate it around and mark a little notch there again at two and one eighth you'll see we have a little notch on both sides of our doors. I want to do some cutting on those and we'll get to that in a minute. This panel is going to sit like this in our card. If these two flaps don't close nicely, then take this one out and give it a little skim. Just take a little bit off the bottom of it or the top. So I have skimmed now a little bit off the top and the bottom so that my panels will fold down like so. Next, we want to do a little bit of cutting now on these panels that we have notched. So what I'm going to do is move the scoreboard now and we're going to do some cutting on those next. So now what I want to do is cut from my score line up to the notch and from this score line up to the notch. So we're going to make a triangle shape on the two doors. So now we have a piece that looks like this with our two little pieces, our two flaps then on either side. So this is how our card base will look. We have this card base here is going to sit on top of the other one. And then when we close this down, it will look like that and close this over. So I want to embellish this. I have four pieces of pattern paper. These pieces measure one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. Two will go on the outside. And then I'm going to take the other two and I'm going to put them on the inside like this. I also have a strip of pattern paper. This piece measures four by three quarters of an inch. And I'm going to put that across the bottom, just like that. I also have this piece. It measures 10 by one and a half. And this is going to be a belly band for our card. I have this piece of pattern paper. It measures eight by one and a quarter. And I'm going to glue that down. And where this comes around at the front, 
I'm going to stick my topper. My topper is this piece. I've die cut out one of the clouds. This die came in the kit, this one here. It cuts out the it's your birthday sentiment. What I've done is I've cut a piece of cardstock to go behind it and it is a piece of holographic cardstock. So that's going to be on the front of our card. So now what we need to do is a little bit of assembly. I'm going to glue down my pattern paper strips and to the belly band and then we'll come back. So I've just glued my um, two card bases together using my collal and now I'm adding the pattern paper. Once I've done that on my strip and the four pieces to go on the gatefold doors, I'll then be able to put my pattern paper strip onto my belly band. And once that's in place, then I'm going to just wrap that around the card itself so that it meets somewhat in the middle. I'll cut off whatever excess is there and then I can add a little bit of quick grab glue to that. Once I've that down, I'm going to add some foam pads to the back of my cloud and then I'll stick that down on the center of the belly band. So in our kit, we got a stencil and I thought I was going to... Um, leave these plain but I thought why not use the stencil on these pieces we got a lovely blue ink so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stencil um, these panels using the stencil from the kit I've got out the little pack of daubers that came in the kit and I'm going to use one of those. I'm going to spread the ink out over the stencil and you can see I have my card protected there with some um, just computer paper below the score line. So I'll just move the stencil around, take some ink to the little panel and then once I have that done I'm going to turn, move it around, swap it around so I can do the other panel at the other end. And again, I'll add a little ink to this. And again, any ink that's on the stencil, I'm also using that to put ink onto our little triangular panel as well. You could do both sides of these panels, but I'm just going to do the one side. So now we have that there. And we can either close our doors over and have these panels on the outside or we can have these panels on the inside and our doors closed over. And again, we have another, what you could describe as a masculine make, although this could be given to anyone. So we have our, it's your birthday on the outside. And when you slide that off, then an open our gatefold doors, you have our two panels like so. And the card will sit nicely. It does sit in that orientation. You can write your message in there and that works a treat. I just love that. So I hope you've enjoyed our card make for today. If you have, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. And if not, please do click the subscribe button and ding the bell. That way it will help my channel to grow with the YouTube algorithm. If you make one of these cards, please do share it on my a Facebook group called Your Cards and Crafts. You can also share your makes on the Love from Lizzie Facebook group too. If you expand on the more button down in the description, it'll give you links to Lizzie's website for the subscriptions and products. It'll also give you links to the other design team members who have made cards using this card kit so it's there to inspire you and it there'll also be links to my Etsy shop if you'd like to purchase your own glue pin like the ones I use in my video. I'm going to leave you now with some images of the card that we've made today and until next time folks take care stay safe and thanks for watching bye bye